everybody. It is Saturday, December 18th, 2021. Yay, last Saturday before the big Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday before the big Saturday. Okay, now first off, real quick, everybody. Uh, as you guys know, we record these um, early. So we recorded this at Friday night, right before we saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, so there will be no spoilers um, in this <laughs> in this podcast, and I'm I'm making that as a joke also because everyone, uh, if you're spoiling the movie um, and everything, and shame I, on you, shame on you. And if I find out you're my friend or something, shame on you twice. Yeah, shame on you twice. I'm actually um, I don't condone violence, but I might have to. Whoops. There it, yeah, goes. There it went. Uh, that that's one of my Power Ranger coins mm -hmm. for my display. Uh, I might have to smack it the head with the uh, with the side of my foot to pull a uh, Gibbs on a Denozo. Um, so yes, we haven't seen the film, uh, yet as of the recording of this, but if you guys are listening to this po uh, podcast now in the morning, we saw it last night and I guarantee you it's going to be fun because I've already heard one review of the, uh, film from a friend, friend of, of ours. Yeah. A friend of ours who had a comic book shop, which unfortunately closed down, uh, about three years ago before the, but no, yeah, about, yeah. about two, three years before the pandemic hit, but, um, uh, he he reviewed uh, movies and all that uh, stuff, and he gave it a ten out of ten. So, and he's very straightforward and honest on all the comic. He was jumping up and down like a puppy dog <laughs> when I saw the review. Stan liked Spider Man. You know oh, he's I always know. loved Spider Man. <laughs> um. Okay, everybody. So, um, and th this does kind of get into a little bit of uh, Spider-Man in, in some sense. We will mention him uh, to, uh, on this podcast today, but um, mostly because his parent, the parent company that owns him, Disney, is reopening their 2D animation studios. Might give people a heads up, those that don't know. Okay. All right, everybody. So, two D animation or uh, you know, cartoon drawings, you know, stuff that goes back all the way, you know, really two uh, D animation. Everybody's around, been around for about a hundred years now. Uh, of course, you had the silent film, silent film era worth of stuff. But you know, based, um, I want to say, in, wow, okay, I can name one cartoon will be a hundred years uh, before this decade's over. Only one. Well, I, I can I can name two. I can name one that a lot of people won't know, and I can name one that a lot of people will know. Felix the Cat, I think, will be... Am I right? Mm, I think so. I'd have to know. Oh, shit. I don't have my, uh, I have my laptop right there, but I'm not going to open it up. But Steamboat Willie uh, will be 100 years old in, uh, in 29. Yeah. You guys don't know Steamboat Willie is the very first uh, Mickey Mouse cartoon. Uh, so, uh, 2D animation, everybody, really took a decline after um, Toy Story came out back in the mid-90s. Yeah. Because everyone wanted to jump on that and make everything 3D, which Toy Story is a very good movie. And I haven't seen the sequels. I know everyone says I need to watch them, but I just kind of like the original sometimes. I know the premise of the sequels, they, they just didn't interest me like the original did. Nothing wrong with them, just uh, not your cup of tea. No, uh, um, and I remember after that, you had a couple more 3D animated, you know, style like cartoons and everything, you know, uh, Pixar or, you know, what, what's the other one? Illumination eventually came out of, uh, came out later. Because they pop stuff out left and right, um, but I, I kind of noticed that that really started, you know, taking precedent over traditional two D animation. Uh, I remember cartoons. You had oh, what was it? Uh, reboot. I don't know if you remember that. Legally, it was a Saturday morning cartoon. It wasn't bad. Um, they never did really finish the series out. Um, uh, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, and what was the other one? Uh, War Planets. Uh, are the, uh, you, you would remember War Planets if I showed it. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, I mean, two D animation, especially in the past decade. I mean, you had a couple have a couple like cartoons that showed up like, um, just on top of my head of stuff from Disney. What you know, but uh, the ones I have watched, uh, Gravity Falls, um. Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, Avengers Assemble, Hulk Agents of Smash, and Spider Man His Amazing Friends. No, not not Amazing Friends, but that's in the eighties. Ultimate Spider Man. But they weren't technically done here. I know they the the animation show was not done and done here. They're Disney cartoons, Marvel Disney cartoons, but does that make sense? Yes. I mean, the only Disney, I mean, Gravity Falls, I know, was done here in the States. And it took a couple of years to finish it because um, the guy behind it wanted to do more 2D animation. He he took his time on it. He didn't uh, rush it? No, no, he didn't rush it. It's He would actually like it. Um, Now, I don't know, I think it's DuckTales, the 2016 one. But there hasn't been a, a 2D animated film that I can think of that was made here in the States, let alone Disney. Oh my, oh my gosh, almost like 20 years. Mm-hmm. I mean, even the same thing over anything from like Hollywood and everything, I don't think there has been. I mean, we, we've gotten our anime movies. What about Aladdin? Aladdin came out in the 90s. Came out in like 92 or so. Okay. Because that, that had three movies. You had the first one came out in theaters. Um, it was like 92, 93. Oh, they had a series too. Yeah, they did. Um, the series hap- uh, started after the second movie, Return of Jafar. Which, uh, that was the animation uh, in that one for the entire series. And then they had the third movie. But there was still, just like anything else, they didn't finish the story. Because I think they, I think they had about another twenty-four episodes planned, maybe thirteen to twenty-four, to tie up some loose ends before the third movie. But it, it never got completed, you know, like anything. Um, Pinheads and pencil necks. Yeah. Well, I personally, I know, like I said, the last movie. That they did was a Princess and the Frog. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have not seen it, but I heard a lot of people watch it. It was set in Louisiana. Different telling of the story. And I, th- I think the movie's a sequel. Because that was, that was actually the last one that they did. It was a Princess and the Frog. Mm-hmm. And they're going to do the sequel, and it's supposed to be coming out in 2023. Now, here's the whole thing is, though. Nobody does 2D animation anymore. Like, that style. No, mm-mm. I mean you have, you do have some two D animated artists that do like YouTube stuff, but their styles are so different. They don't have uh They don't have the same feel. No, it doesn't. Some of it's kind of flat and everything. Um, yes, some of like some of that Cartoon Network stuff. Which one? Which Cartoon Network stuff are you talking about, Dad? <laughs> Your favorite. Which one? SpongeBob. Oh, uh, that's Nickelodeon. Oh, my bad, Nickelodeon. <laughs> uh, Some Cartoon like Network would, jump. Cartoon Network would be Steven Universe, Teen Titans yeah. Go, um, The Amazing World of Gumball. But that one had different animation styles in it throughout the whole entire series because each character was animated differently. Yeah, that was that. That was the one neat thing I liked it because you actually had one or two 3D characters, but the art style was different. Um, That's just a weird show, but I actually enjoyed it. Uh, He had regular show, but that's more of an adult style Mm -hmm. cartoon. I, I, I can't think of anything. No, like I said, most of the 2D stuff, you know, that has a traditional 2D animation, uh, which has a small blend of 3D now, 
um, just to clean up stuff and make it flow better is like the Japanese animation that we watch. Well, that's a whole different style. I know, but I mean that that's the only places that I I can think of. I mean, I I would love for the two D animation stuff to really start hitting back up. I know it can be expensive and everything, but you could actually, with the technology now, you can pop out stuff a lot faster and good quality. What? I'm just thinking they don't, if they don't want to pony up or else they can't find anybody that's willing to do it. Well, that's the whole thing. So there is a dedicated group of people that want to do it, but you know as well as I do, okay? Um, you got to, oh, wow. you got to pay them decently. Oh, wow. Um, oh man, who was it that we saw back in um, was it April? Yeah, April. What's his name? Um, did Darkwing Duck and all all those voices? What's his name? Cummings. Uh, yeah. Was Cummings there? Jim Cummings? Yeah, I think it was Cummings. Cummings was there. What was the other guy? Um, hold on one sec. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to check an uh, autograph of his. Yeah, he's going to check the wall. Tom Cook. Yeah. That's who it was. Who? Oh, it's the poster I, yeah. I got for, you know, Girlfriend, yeah. the Shira poster. Yeah. Um, uh, Tom Cook. Remember, you know, yeah, he was an animator, and he sat there and said, "Uh, yeah, you have to pay them and everything." And yeah, they were working long hours, but he said it was fun if you had, you know, if you had a good, dedicated group of people. Of course, he said what hurt everybody was the unions, uh, and the buying out and the property get bought out and they just won't do anything with it. They just buy it out just to buy it out. Hey, I, I bought it out. I ain't gonna do, you know. Put it in the can, put it on the shelf. Yeah, I remember we did a podcast about that. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people who love 2D animation and, you know, especially this younger generation, you know, this, the generation under me, they grew up with all the 3D stuff, but this younger generation, you know, we can introduce them into 2D and they're like, ooh, you know, I mean, how many times have we heard parents show them the, the kids the old stuff? Like, I like the old stuff better than the new stuff. So, yeah, that's neat. Yeah. That's not what the pencil necks and bean heads want to hear. Well, like I said, it's all it's also all about money, too. Oh, yeah, I know. You okay? You hurting? No, I'm okay. Uh yeah, you know, about money. They want to make sure their gravy train don't get cut off. Now they got it flowing. Well, Disney's been hurting anyway. I mean, I mean the, <coughs> and I, I'm not talking about the, the movies are making money. Um, I know they haven't hit like a billion dollars. So everyone costs flops and that's flops. No, God. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get into that one. Uh, now I don't know about. I mean, I know the Disney Marvel movies have made money. Uh, so they all made their money back and everything. Maybe not in toy sales or, or anything, but Disney, office. yeah, but Disney in the past couple of years, they just haven't produced a lot of good stuff. I mean, they have their Disney junior stuff, which I've seen that. That's not bad, but most of that's 3d animation animated. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if everyone doesn't know when I was growing up with Disney, uh, and this was this was actually before. Let everybody know this was before, um, Toon Disney and all that other stuff. I mean, uh, down here we had, um, uh, jeez, we had the Disney Afternoon, which was all syndicated cartoons. But I mean, for about three years, I mean, I knew from three to five there was something to watch. It wasn't sports related. Oh, did I say that? No, it wasn't sports related. No, it was not. No, because it was, yeah, th three to five, and that was my. Fr Actually, was it. 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having to think on top of my head. Was it three or four years that, that it happened down here? Oh, I don't remember. I think it might have been four years. No, no, it was three years. Because winter of 94, it... Hmm. Sorry about that, everybody. That's my, uh, my dog. She being silly. But, um... You know, everyone, I grew up on, on Disney, on 2D animation. I would like to see a resurgence of, of it. Because there was always something new. I mean, even if it was just like 13 episodes or so, there was always something different to watch you know, every couple of months. Well, the problem is now to get the young people to sit down long enough to watch it. Yeah, their attention spans are not there. Yeah. Attention span is only as long as a text. 30 seconds. But it can be done with the newer generation. Oh, I know. And I'm sorry, you they know. Don't wanna, they don't want to take the time or, or uh, whatever, in my opinion. I know. Well, to me, it's also an art form, okay? I mean, it, it's not easy to be a 2D animator. I mean, no. anybody who does it, you know, hats off to you and everything. I'll go buy you some tacos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, it, it's not easy, but I mean, it's something that you can look years down the road and be like, "Hey, you know, I helped make that and everything." And you know, it might start off, it might not hit big, but you know, five, six later, all of a sudden, it'd be like, "Wow, this show's a couple years old now. It's just really starting to, you know." Well, the ne the ne next generation falls in love with it. Oh yeah, I mean. How many people was uh, was Tom signing for like Masters of the Universe and Shira stuff, even from young people? You know. Yeah, we're talking about tweeners. I mean, everyone. I'm I'm not kidding. Like people who were like you know, ten to like sixteen years old were getting like original like stuff from Filmation's era signed by him. It's like no, I, I watch it. Uh, you know. My dad, you know, mom and dad introduced me to it, and, uh, you know, it's... I'm hooked. <laughs> right. Well, part of it is the parents not spending the time with their children. Well, those, those parents were. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, they were real parents. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, this, to me, also gives a chance for more people to to build the studios back up. But I see an issue is who are they who, who, who are they gonna get to teach the type of stuff? I don't know. I mean, because you're gonna have to have everybody from people who just do the concept drawings to storyboards and everything, to, then the animation section, and that's where it's gonna be really hard. What you're talking about is that we're basically a two-year class. Oh, yeah. I mean, ooh. That's okay. Man, how many people are going to dedicate themselves to that? Some people will, some people won't. Yeah. I mean, th th that's the whole thing. A lot of people want everything wham, bam. They think, you know, it's not going to take me. They want it yesterday. They, oh, I can, I can do this in a year, not realizing it might take you five or six years before you start really, you know. Perfecting your for, own technique. Right. Well, looks decent. I mean, it's the same type of people think. Well, I took three, three karate, three karate, karate, in, karate, y'all, <laughs> karate classes. Now. I should be a black belt. Oh, you had us. You had opened up, up that can. Oh, same kind of people. Pet peeve of mine, everybody. I, I can beat you. I've taken two months of classes. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. I've been taking since I was 11. I'm almost 30. Do the math. Everyone, I'm really not even joking on that. Oh. Mm. No, no, the, the animation's not not going to be easy. 
But, I mean, with all the properties that Disney has now, uh, stuff they have acquired and stuff that, they, um, that they've had in their vault and everything, they're... Uh, they're like some other people where they, they just sit on it and might not see it until the next generation. Warner Brothers? No, Warner Brothers is not owned by Warner Brothers anymore. Uh, who owns? Is it Disney? No. Is it not Disney? No, it's not Disney. I haven't seen Bugs Bunny in uh, Oh, okay. Uh, who owns? Is it AT&T sold? Who did AT&T sell to? I'll have to look into it. Is it Sony? No. No, not Sony. I'll have, I'll have to look into it uh, later. But... You have all these properties that are just sitting there. Okay. All right, here's a perfect example. I mean, they can even just start off doing specials. Nothing major, you know... Have a dedicated team. Okay, guys, oh, this is going to be our first year having the studio back up. Let's see if we can get three new holiday specials up for all uh, the Christmas time. Okay, everybody? Go. All right. You got to follow the dynamics of these characters because these characters are already established. Like, you can have something with Mickey, Goofy, and Donald and all them again. Mm -hmm. Um, You could have something with... Oh, uh, 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 all right. Uh... Chip and Dale. Now, I know they're supposed to be like a Chip and Dale series, but like I said, it looks a little 2D. Like, I'm talking about like flat and everything. Well, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. e e even the old like Bugs Bunny s stuff, even like in the 60s where they were, they weren't as refined as the original 40s ones were sometimes, the 50s and 60s ones were, they still had a different feel. Still look better than some of the stuff from the, this day and age, okay? All right, let's be honest. Well, Tom and Jerry is a good example. They went through so many incarnations. Oh, yeah, no. So many different hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, no. I tell you, you know what? Even though Disney, if, if they really want to, uh, if they really want to push people, and everything, not only studied the the classic, you know, back when uh, Walt Disney was in charge of and everything, but I can tell you uh, one animator they need to study. Who? Tex Avery. Yeah. I mean, his stuff almost look. I mean, it was it, it, everyone. If you don't know who Tex Avery is, he was a famous animator uh, for Warner Brothers, and he did a ton of stuff. His art style was very unique. And it was, and sometimes it almost looked like more than 2D. Yeah, 3D-ish. The way he, the way he did things. Oh, man. Can you imagine if he was alive today? He had all the knowledge of how to do stuff. Or even the 80s and 90s, Dad. Mm-hmm. You found somebody of that caliber. Well, a lot of the Disney stuff, movies in, in you know 80s and 90s, had a little bit of a Tex Avery feel to it. Yeah. So, I mean... They evidently had studied him or his style. I know. But that's what it's going to take. It's going to take some dedicated people that sit back and look and, you know... Hmm, you know, this person did this, this person did this. Can we combine the two or can we use something similar? I mean, it's not going to be something over... make it our own. It's not going to be overnight at all. Oh, no, it will take several years. But it's something that can be done. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully Disney will, will do it right. But if they're opening up their animation studio again, there's going to be a lot of things they're going to have to do. It all depends on where they open it. Oh, it's going to be in Florida. No, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't think the governor of Florida is not already working on No, no, I want it here. You know. Because they, they still have the animation studio down at Disney. It's just sitting there. The plot, the building is still there. What are you talking about down there? Orlando? 
Yeah, the yeah. building's still there. Yeah. They're going to say where they're going to put it. Like, oh, duh. Orlando. They can buy the old Nickelodeon Studios building if they want to. Yeah. I mean. They'll probably sell it for a nickel. Well, Nickelodeon Studios uh, moved to California years ago. Oh, I know. So. Yeah, that might well be a good buy for them. Yeah, they can get a heck of a tax write off on that. I mean, they can even turn that into the Marvel Animation Studio. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, we, you know, we just got Marvel just a little bit down the road from us because. You know, we, we want to keep it a little separate, you know, so the two groups don't clash, clash. or whatever. Whatever. I'm going to have to look at getting some of the, those Disney films. Well, everybody, I think we're going to end it here for today. I know a lot of people have things they got to do. You know, it's just a couple of days before uh, Christmas. The big man comes. Yeah, the big red man comes down the chimney or whatever. Uh, through the ventilation shaft, or <laughs> what? Ventilation shaft. Man. You're starting to sound like a, a Marvel movie now. I was thinking Die Hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Uh, so we're going to end it for today. Now, on Thursday will be our last podcast. You want to make that our last podcast of the year? And we'll do we'll do a review of the Matrix. That'll be our first podcast of the uh, and everything. Now, um, what what I mean by that, everybody, is the the last week of the year and the first week of 2022. We will not have we will not do anything. Now, part of the reason that is because I am off the last week of the year, and everyone, I want to. There's so many things I need to do besides the work on this. Uh, spend time with parents and some friends and. You got other irons on the fire. You need to turn over. Yeah, I do. I, I got some lot of writing I got to do. Everybody, I, mm -hmm. I'm planning this year to try to get a lot more projects out there, and might try something new with the with the voice recording thing. I, I don't know yet. Um, that that'd be more of a fun project. Uh, so with that said, everybody, on when on Thursday we will have a review of Spider Man, but it's going to be a vague review. I'm not. We are not going to. Uh, spoil. We're, we're going to keep everything to to a bare minimum, but we will talk the implications of what it means for future films and what they can, what it can do. Because everyone already knows this is going to open up the the multiverse. Okay, yeah, we know that's coming. So, but uh, anything you want to add real quick on Disney uh, reopening their two D studio, Dad? Well, just a question. When and where? I know. And hopefully, everybody, I'll have some new uh, artwork for us at the beginning of the year. I got to talk to our artist, so yeah, I'll talk to him. Yeah, I'll talk to him tomorrow. So, yeah. so everybody, have a wonderful rest of your. Uh, well, actually, I say talk tonight. Then uh, have a wonderful rest of your uh, day, and we will see you on Thursday. Uh, be safe out there. We are out. <laughs>